Baby, didn't we say it was over for Sean Diddy Combs? And didn't we say that the whole institution was rotten and would have to fall? Well, get this. The former bad boy president and the label are sued for electual, for alleged, right? S.A. Student assault and negligence. Y'all, let's get into this. An ex-assistant to Harv Peer claims that, that he used his position of authority to as her boss, to groom, exploit, and S.A. her. Y'all, Bad Boy, when Tupac said F. Bad Boy is a staff, a record label, and an M.F. it, please, this is the ghost of Tupac. He told us less than a week after Diddy was accused of grape and blank, traffic blank, blank to Cassie, a longtime executive at his company, Bad Boy Entertainment, is being sued for allegedly grooming and SA his assistant, Harvey Pierre. And I actually remember Harvey Pierre, the former president of Bad Boy, who met Diddy when they were students together at Howard University, is accused. Howard University needs to take their degrees away. I'm just saying. Is accused of preying on the Jane Doe plaintiff on multiple occasions in New York City and other locations throughout the country. Ooh, I know that's right. This was literally, I believe the complaint was filed in the Southern District of, I'm sorry, no, not the Southern District, in the New York County Supreme Court. So they're keeping it state, local. Pierre used his position of authority as his as her boss to groom, exploit, and SA her. Pierre engaged in a year-long pattern of grooming plaintiff, leading to the SA of plaintiff and the um the harassment also. The anonymous assistant who hasn't given her name, y'all, if anybody was hurt by them, y'all need to come out now. Everyone, you better get it while you live it. The anonymous assistant alleges Pierre sexually assaulted her on multiple occasions from 2016 to 2017. And as a result, she suffered, wow, physical, emotional, and psychological injury, injuries, along with pain and suffering. The woman is asking for damages that will fully and fairly compensate her. Now, Pierre hasn't said anything. I want to say what, let's read into this because I swear to God, if he made her wear white nail polish, I will say one thing. I'm beginning to believe Kanye when he said that Diddy is feds. Ain't no way in the world all this mess goes down and nothing. Mm -hmm. The lawsuit also names Bad Boy Entertainment, Bad Boy Records, and Combs Enterprises as co-defendants, accusing the companies of negligence and gender, vi Ooh, gender violence. Defendants knew or should have known that Pierre was unfit to be in the position of authority before he essayed the plaintiff. It claims the companies failed to properly supervise Pierre, especially considering his access to individuals like the plaintiff. A bad boy spokesperson has come out and said that we have recently become aware of the lawsuit filed in New York by a former employee. The allegations are, are from many, many years ago that were never brought to the attention of the company. And they brought to your attention now if you don't open up those security footage and see what's going on. Neither the plaintiff nor the executive are current employees of the company. And it still doesn't mean you're not liable. We're now investigating the allegations, and our top priority is the safety and well-being of our employees. But you just said that they're not. You know what? Bat Boy is playing this all wrong. They ain't going to last. Bat Boy is not. They are going to be dismantled systematically for this to happen. Now, get this. They said Pierre started Bad Boy in 1992, according to his LinkedIn profile, working his way up from intern and Diddy's assistant. But was he wearing white nail polish? Uh, to the director level position. To the director level position. Uh, before leaving the company in 1995, Pierre eventually returned to become its president until December 2017. He now calls himself a partial owner of the company that helped launch the careers of Notorious Big, Craig Mack, Mace, and Faith Evans. Wow. So get this. If you've experienced anything, you need to know this. The suit was filed as a consequence to the Adult Survivors Act, which allowed a one-year window for those in New York to bring civil lawsuits uh, alleging S.A. even if the statute of limitations had passed. It's set to expire on Friday, November 24th of 2023. According to the Associated Press, the legislation led to more than 2,500 la lawsuits, with many, including Cassie's suit against Diddy and uh, the J. Doan lawsuit against Russell Brand being filed in the final days leading up to the deadline. So y'all got how many days? You better get into it. 
Cassie, as you know, settled her stuff and it worked out really, really well. But the thing is with this whole thing with Diddy, and I firmly believe this, I do not believe that Diddy was just out there wilding out acting crazy and everybody else was in church. I believe that Diddy made people participate. I believe he hired people that were on the same time with him. And I do believe that as time goes on and on, we are going to find more and more and more out. I think that if anybody has a story to say, they should say it. But I also think, and I really wanted to say this, that Diddy actually might be fed. So if you guys don't know that the Page Six actually did a write-up on Diddy and literally talked about when he assaulted Steve Stout, when nine people got deceased in a stampede for a thing that he was hosting, the way he literally assaulted Justin's UCLA football coach with a kettlebell because he was yelling at Justin during football practice. Do you know that for all this, for assaulting somebody with a kettlebell, he tried to break that mofo's head open with a kettlebell. The, char- the prosecutor said that they were dropping him. This is the LAPD prosecutor that will prosecute you if you steal a pack of Wrigley's Juicy Fruit. Do they still sell that? If you steal a pack of Wrigley's Juicy Fruit from the Walgreens, Thrifties, whatever you want to call it, they will literally throw the book at you. He did, they decided not to press charges when he assaulted Steve Stout. They gave him a harassment charge. That is what you get when you catcall somebody from across the street in New York City. They gave him a harassment charge, and then they had the nerve. And I mean the nerve. They had the nerve to give him one day of anger management. Why has Diddy, it's not just the violence and the essay that he allegedly committed towards Cassie and a bunch of other women. It's the way that he got caught with the driving with Justin. Justin switched seats with him. That's what Misa Hill and Brim tried to imply. We don't know if that's what happened. It's when J-Lo and Shine and him all got caught with that hammer in the car. J-Lo got released. Puppy got off. Shine had to take the rap. Diddy has done so many grimy things to so many people over the years. And they have involved law enforcement and still nothing ever happens to that man. How is that possible? It's beginning to look like Black Epstein. Last thing, last night we noticed that Kim Porter's page was down, that Kim Porter's page was, Wiki's page was down, and every time you searched her, it would go to Diddy's page, and they had unlinked her. Do you know now the site's back up after everybody noticed it last night? What is Diddy up to? What is he doing, and why did that page go down on the day that he settled with Cassie. You guys, listen, let me know if you want to go live tonight because we got to talk about all this. But I am pretty sure that with that bad boy stuff, there is more to come. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.